I have 100% accepted this body. I love it and I rock it. I feel confident and beautiful. Yeah, I get a lot of compliments at work. People just, they see me glow. There's some sexy, sexy with side boob. I feel like a boss. <laughs> like what's happening? Gwynnie B is the first ever clothing rental service for women sizes 10 to 32. Gwynnie B has been absolutely life-changing for my confidence. Hey everybody, so you did all that dieting in January, skipped right over Veganuary, and crashed in February. But now it's March. Looks like it's Fat Acceptance Month. So let's see what's on here. I am here with Marcy Preet, fashion expert whose passion is making women of all sizes look and feel their absolute best. The first thing about Gwynnie B that people need to know from a stylist's point of view is that you have endless choices at your fingertips. Women sizes 10 through 32 were 75% of the adult female population in the United States. Tons of fun expressing their own personal styles, and they love having an unlimited wardrobe. They will love everything about the clothing, the selection, and the service. I feel like a boss, <laughs> so. You are a boss, girl. <laughs> I definitely feel like myself, and I feel like a rock star. Express myself with clothes, but I get bored really easily, so. I've had two kids, um, and my weight has really fluctuated a lot over the past five years, and I just go in and change the sizes up and down, and I'm not in a place where, oh my gosh, none of my clothes fit, I have to go buy new clothes. Things for <laughs> in your size. Well, people just. No comment. You get these compliments, and you're just like, yeah, you're gonna strut. Yes. <laughs> I mean, I know what styles work for me. Boom, done. I wonder what Trump would say about this. A lot of you folks have weight problems. Just look at this amazing group of women who are in love with what Gwynny B has given. Well, I'm a skeptical person. And yes, TV is the land of fakeness. So I'm wondering if these are real women who are kidding themselves about feeling good and confident. Or are these fake women getting paid to feel good about themselves? fashion expert whose passion is making women of all sizes look and feel their absolute best. You look amazing. Well, the last thing I am is a fashion expert. But it looks like a glad trash bag to me. So many of us are nervous to think outside the box. Knowing that we're doing something good and we're making women feel confident and beautiful about themselves. Yeah, okay, I have a comment. Well, the CEO there says that she's doing something good by making them feel better. But how long is that going to last? Because the better they feel mentally and accept being overweight, the more overweight they will become. They will never get healthy that way. And let's get real here. How many of you think they're actually fooling themselves? The more we see this fat acceptance, the more we see... Up and down and up and down and up and up and up and up and up. And up. another casual kind of plus size haul so if you are into just a random try on haul we're going to start with this ensemble waisted a tighter fit for a sexier look round enough that can be photographed or seen in the same thing twice show off your waistline so let's see what up to some something more realistic like the news a fascinating development in science. A woman who could not gain weight may have helped find a solution for people who gain too much. She's not hungry, but still needs to eat all the time. The food feeds her brain just enough glucose to keep her from passing out. But it's only a few bites until she feels full. Abby consumes half the amount of normal calories for a woman her age. Okay, here's the deal. Basically, they are looking to give fat people the disease that that skinny woman has. In short, it's the same old calorie restriction, and a lot of fat people say that they do not eat a lot more than thin people eat. Now, there's people who say, that, oh, they just don't believe that because well, that can't be true. But that's not scientific. It's saying you can't defeat the laws of physics. is only looking at half of the physics. By the way, I covered the other half in my two e-books. You can find more details about them in the description below this video. And another thing on this week was the Oscars. Now you might be asking, what could I possibly have to criticize that would affect society so much? Because that's what I'm all about. You probably forgot all about the big mistake that happened. 
And that's what they want you to do. Forget. They want you to buy the story and then not think about it anymore. Well, like I said earlier, I am skeptical. Think about it. This kind of mistake has never been made at the Oscars. And right here, it happens right at the end. The biggest award of the evening. Coincidence? To present the final award of the evening. And the Academy Award... Come on. La La Land. Everywhere. Repression is the enemy of civilization. So keep dreaming, because the dreams we dream today will provide the love, the compassion, and the humanity that will now... There's, there's a mistake. Moonlight, you guys won Best Picture. Moonlight won. Come on, this is not a joke. Come this on. is not a joke. I'm afraid they read the wrong thing. Moonlight. Best picture. I want... Warren, what did you do? I want to tell you what happened. I opened the envelope, and it said, Emma Stone, La La Land. That's why I took such a long look. Very clearly, even in my dreams, this could not be true. <laughs> not sure, I'm still not sure this is real, but thank you to the... In the YouTube comments, someone said, why didn't Warren Beatty just call out the producer and tell him it's the wrong card before announcing the winner? And I replied back, that would have ruined the conspiracy. It wouldn't have made news all over the world. The movie that might get the most publicity out of this is The Winner, which is a so-called black movie, which sends a message to society. Listen to what one of the stars from the movie said while accepting the award. Inspiring to people, little, little black boys and brown girls and other folks watching at home who feel marginalized. Remember that we're talking about La La Land here. Oh, which was the movie that lost, <laughs> but still won. It's the land of make-believe. So what I'm saying here is I think this was a publicity stunt. It reminds me a lot of that wardrobe malfunction from like 10 or 15 years ago. That was bullshit, too. Come on. The writing was right on Janet Jackson's tit. Yeah, the way Faye Dunaway and Warren Beatty acted was not the way you would think someone would act. <sighs> I wonder what Trump would say about this. It's a rigged system. And to wrap things up, another interesting thing happened. In the comments, you'll see a lot of people not remembering that Faye Dunaway was the one who read the card. People kept saying it was Warren Beatty. This is a case of false memory, also called the Mandela effect, where the brain just gets confused and remembers things how they did not happen. And it's not because anything's wrong with the brain. There are good reasons for this to happen. Sometimes it's other memories get in the way, or sometimes people remember it being a different time. And sometimes memories change over time. Look at the Mandela effect. You get a good definition of, it, of the phenomenon. Like there's some examples that you probably have. For instance, Darth Vader never said, Luke, I am your father. Sarah Palin never said, you can see Russia from my house. That one got me. I could hardly believe that. Some famous movie lines and stuff. Now on the other hand, Trump is also known for getting historical things confused. But in his case, it's probably bad memory from the sleep de deprivation.